Hey gang, so Jason here for the Love of Tractors, and I'm back working on Dogtown. So I got my Dremel out. Uh, we are shaping a field here. Pardon that mess over there. So here is the general idea of what's going on. So this isn't exactly in place, but uh, that way I can move it while I'm working on it. This is going to be a gravel road here, okay? And this is going to be a field entrance. Now, a lot of field entrances where we live, the road actually sits a little bit below the field. So that's what I'm kind of trying to replicate here. So I want to make a nice turn up into the field. Uh, we'll have some grasslands here and then along here, because remember, this is going to be a bit of a stream. And... Um, this will probably just gently slope down uh, into here and be some grass as well. And then our main field is here. Forget this. This is uh, something completely different, completely unrelated to this field. I just needed to measure something out. So I had that, oops, had that piece to do it. Um, anyway, and then so the field will kind of come off the board, if you will. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm, I'm using my Dremel. I've got my flex head on there. And I've got a sanding disc. This is 120... 120 grit disc you can certainly be more aggressive if you want you can certainly be less aggressive if you want so let's just uh, see how this works I'm using a low speed there is just no need to go full bore here in my opinion and I'm doing it this way instead of uh, picking this up and doing it towards me because it just kind of feels a little more natural to me it feels a little easier to get this slope, and I don't know if you can hear me talking over the drum or not, but <laughs> there. So I'm, I'm just kind of slowly working my way, shaving back the edges. You know, a lot of guys will use like a um, a palm sander or something like that. I mean, he definitely can. Uh, but for this area, which is a little tighter, I thought that was going to be pretty difficult. So, I'm going to cut this back. So, I start the hand. You can see, in a couple places, it's catching, and I'm digging in too much. We can fix those, no big deal. Uh, Paris and <clears throat> a little spatula or whatever, and that will be super easy. All right, gang. So, well, you might be wondering why a semi truck just appeared. <laughs> so, I've got my basic smoothing done for this area. So, let's check that out. So, you know, we're kind of smooth here. Kind of got a, oops, kind of got a nice rounded edge here, uh, and then here is my. Uh, sort of rampway up and then over here I went with a much steeper slope so remember this is along the gravel road so I wanted a, a significantly steeper slope there and then I haven't finished this yet because I'm gonna have to attach this and then work with the confines of the river so now you're probably you, you probably saw this so uh, what's the deal with these super aggressive pits here well okay so Right, they're, they're going to be unloading and loading, or well, <laughs> they're going to be loading grain onto trucks up here. So these trucks are going to have to come up this, and over time, that's going to create a dip in certain places. So 
Uh, I've got you know, one here. I'm probably gonna create another one through here. And so let's go ahead and just for fun, let's mark that if I can find my marker. Like so. And then I want another one, yeah, roughly like so. And then I think once they get up here, um, it's going to turn, and then we're sort of not going to have trouble with it because this field's going to be packed down quite a bit. So, uh, you know, I was a bit aggressive here, not a big deal. Uh, I can go in and fix that pretty easily. Now, these you can do a couple ways. You can do them by hand with a little file or something like that. You can do it with sandpaper, no problem there. Uh, or you can use your Dremel, super low speed with a drum on it. Um, you got to be really careful with this because you get deep. That's that's all right there, but you can get super deep if you're not real careful. So, okay, here we go. So just notice, I'm, I mean, I'm just barely taking off material here. I got to turn those guys. Sorry. Um, And I'm going to do it even lighter up here because I think, one, the trucks are going to take slightly different routes, and two, like I said, I think this field's packed a little bit, so once they get up on the field, it's less of a problem. This has a bit aggressive there. I need to turn this to get a better angle. I'll just show you guys the finished product here. Okay, so I mean, that's kind of it, guys. Uh... That's pretty good. I like the depth here. It's not too bad. But so what's going to happen, and you'll see it when it, that time comes to do that video, is uh, we're going to put grass down. We're going to put dirt down. We're going to put uh, static grass down, which I've got back here. This this stuff here, and then uh, you know we're going to fill it in. We're going to probably feather a little bit of gravel through here and things like that. Maybe do some mud puddles and so on and so forth, or you know dried mud puddles. And the idea is hopefully we get a nice sort of uh, you know, track into the field look. So, all right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Thank you guys so much. Uh, please do the like, share, subscribe thing. That is always greatly appreciated. Have a great day. Treat each other well. Happy tractor hunting. Catch you later.